Hey yo, what's up guys, my name is Slappy. On today's video, I'm gonna try to optimize Windows 11 because I'm having a lot of issue with my FPS on Fortnite. This optimization can help you with the performance of any game, so don't worry. It's not only specified for Fortnite, so you can do it if you want to improve the performance on this Windows 11. So on this time, I'm just gonna try to show you what is the best settings that you can have on your Windows to get good optimizations. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you the regedit file that you can use to optimize your windows. This is up to you, you don't need to do it, but if you want to do it, I'm going to leave the link on the description so you can download and use it. On my case, I will use it at the end of this video, so I hope you guys enjoy and let's continue with the video. Okay, first of all, all the stuff that we're going to do on this time are only on Windows. I'm not going to install nothing, I'm not going to show you nothing else, only the regedit files and Windows. So, first of all, you need to go into the settings of Windows because it's really important that you see what we're gonna do. So, I need to click on Windows. Now, I'm going to Settings. Okay, so here I am on the Windows Settings. First of all, you need to go to Apps. We have a lot of stuff here. So, you need to go to Apps and then Apps and Features. Now, here, we need to uninstall all the apps that you don't use to use. Okay, so as you can see, what you need to do is really simple. As you can see, I'm gonna try to show several apps that I don't use to use and I want to uninstall like uh, clock and alarm it won't let me camera 2 court and it won't let me to the fig by how do it let me so install it the get help and it won't let me others like grow music it, it let me so i'm gonna uninstall it too because i like more uh, the other one mails and calendars so i'm just gonna uninstall all the apps and then i'm gonna come back now Okay, so I already uninstalled all the apps that I don't use to use. So now you need to go again to apps and then you need to click on apps for website. Now here you will see that you have these two options about maps. So please uh, disactivate it. Now you need to click on startups app. Now here you need to disactivate all the apps that you don't want to run when your PC start. On my case, I don't want to uh, start with OneDrive, Epic Game Launcher, Spotify, and uh, maybe this one and the security icon is not necessary but i'm gonna leave it update a startup utility nope cortana is activate uh, this one i don't use it so i'm gonna have a gnome so i'm just gonna leave these three options and that's it also if you are not on a laptop go to privacy and security and click on find my device Disactivate this option because if you don't have a laptop, you don't need this option. So please disactivate it because it just takes performance. Now you need to go to Windows Update because this is really important that as you can see, I need to update and please anytime that Windows 11 requires an update, please update because this is a really important step of Windows Update. You need to have always update anytime that it requires because it's really important that you update because day by day if they update they have like new stuff new updates for the performance of your pc so please update anytime that you can and now you have done this part so you don't need to worry about this please update anytime that you can it's really important so please update now go to gaming sections and now we need to configure it the gaming section as you can see at the xbox game bar you need to disactivate it because it just take performance and we don't use xbox game bar now you need to go to captures and disactivate the record the audio and the mouse now you need to go to the game mode section and now you need to have the game mode enabled also you need to click on graphics now here you need to select the app that you want to uh, put the maximum performance on my case is fortnite because i used to play fortnite but if you have other different games that you want to to put you can put it as you can see you need to only click on browse now here you need to find a way that is safe fortnite fortnite is usually safe on the local disk c but on my case it's not so as you can see i have my games over here so it's fortnite then you need to go fortnite game binaries win 64 and now you will find the games and i'm gonna select the most heaviest if you want you can select all of them but i'm gonna select only the most heaviest now here you need to click on options and put the high performance of nvidia and also you can still adding more programs if you want just click on browser and put other imagine that i'm gonna put gta 5 so i'm gonna put gta 5 add options and put the high performance that's all okay now that we finish the settings part you need to go to edit power plan it's really simple just type edit and you're gonna open the edit power plan 
Here, what you need to do is really simple. You need to come back to power options. Now you will have the additional uh, plan, so please open it and then select the highest performance. Go to change advanced power settings and make sure that the processor's power management is 100% both the minimum and the maximum now just click on apply and okay we finished this part so you need to go now into the pc properties it's really simple just go in any folder now click on this pc then you need to click on properties now here you need to click on advanced system settings now here are the system properties this is really important so please make sure you do all what i'm gonna do correctly as you can see there is a section what is called performance so click on settings now here what you need to do is really simple i'm gonna recommend you to do adjust the best performance and only activate the show thumbnails into icons and apply but if you don't like how it looks like just put a uh, led windows choose what is the best for my computer and that's it my on my case i'm gonna put i just for a best performance and i'm gonna click on shop thumbnails instead icons and apply the visual effects will not be the same but at least you will have better performance if you are on windows 11 only for the visual effects i'm not gonna recommend you to you do this because what you're gonna do is only uh, disactivate all the visual effects who affect the performance okay now you need to go to advanced and now we need to create a virtual memory As you can see currently we're using now we're using 4 gigabyte of virtual memory so i'm gonna increase it just a bit you need to disactivate the autom the automatically management then you need to click on custom size and you need to select the uh, this that you want to put the virtual memory on my case i'm gonna put more space available and then i'm gonna click on custom size and now i'm gonna put how much gigabytes i want on my case i will recommend you between 10 gigabytes and 20. on my case i'm gonna put 30 gigabytes because it's the best for me on my opinion you need to put the initial on 30 and the end on 32. now you need to click on set now you need to click on ok yes okay apply okay okay before you restart if you will download the files i'm gonna show you what you need to do it's really simple if you don't you can restart now your pc and enjoy the performance of your pc if you will install the regedit don't restart now and open the folder and it's really simple before you make any change don't forget to create the restore point because it can maybe don't work really good to your pc so please make the restore point it's really simple create a restore point now here on the restore point you need to click on create now you need to put the name on my case it will be regedit now you need to click on close okay now you have been created a restore point if something happened and you want to come back but you don't know how to do it it's really simple just click on system restore now choose a different restore point click on next and select the restore point that you create click on next and finish and that's it so don't worry you're not gonna lose any file on my case i'm not gonna still continue so i'm gonna click on cancel and then i'm gonna click on ok so i'm gonna open the regedit files what you need to do is click one by one until you finish all of them it's really simple so please do it because it's not the big deal so it's really simple just click on yes okay okay next one and there we go we finished now you can restart your pc without any problems and enjoy the performance that you will have on your pc now and that's all for this video i would like to show you something about fortnite but i don't want to make the video completely about fortnite so anyone can do it my main content is fortnite if you are new watching this video i also make videos how to boost the performance on fortnite so i hope you guys enjoy and this work for you i will guys see you very but very soon so see you next time